Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your Bibles and turn with me over to the book of 1 John. Today we'll be in 1 John chapter number 4. And I want us to look at verse 21 as our text verse of Scripture. Uh, There's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's Word. So pick up your copy. Turn with me over to 1 John 4, 21. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness. Friend, there's just not a better uh, way to get a brand new day started than fresh coffee, and more important than that, digging into the truth of God's holy and precious word. Well, over in 1 John chapter number 4, verse 21, the Bible says, And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loveth his brother also. And friend, I pray God would add his blessings to the reading of that wonderful word on this beautiful day. Well, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Having uh, Godly Love for Others. Having Godly Love for Others. You know, uh, whenever we begin to think about this particular passage of Scripture, uh, God has arranged the Christian life so that our relationship with him is inseparably linked with our relationship to others. Now, this is evident in the command he gives in Matthew 5, verse 23 and verse 24, where the Bible teaches if you're presenting your offering at the altar and there. Uh, remember that your brother has something against you that you need to be reconciled to your brother and then come and present your offering. So you need to reconcile yourself with your brother first. Now, in other words, don't mistreat others and then expect God to accept your spiritual offerings. What the Bible is teaching us is to honor him in a practical way first. Our earthly relationships, listen, our earthly relationships ultimately reflect how we would treat God himself. I mean, back up one verse of scripture and look at verse number 20. The Bible says, if a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen How can he love God whom he hath not seen? Remember Jesus said to uh, the extent that you served one of these brothers of mine, you did it unto me. Uh, When you serve one, you do it unto him. He places other people in our lives for his purposes. And uh, we should never, ever reject them at all. When we reject our brother, we are ultimately rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not telling you that we should condone sinful behavior, but our focus should be on how we behave toward others and how we live out our faith in uh, God in practical ways. Friend, listen, we cannot shut ourselves in the prayer closet and then treat others who are made in his image badly. We must be loving to everyone as if we were relating to Jesus himself. So the best thing to do is have godly love for others. Even when they don't love you like you feel like that you need to be loved, have godly love for others. Uh, I think about a time in my life that uh, I had the opportunity to reach into the life of an individual 
And uh, I did not really like the way this particular individual uh, kept himself. And uh, so I decided uh, to just kind of go around him. I caught him walking one day toward Tifton, a small town. I was living in Adel at the time, and Tifton about 20 miles away, and I was headed to Tifton that morning. And a little fellow was walking toward Tifton, and I knew that if he happened to see me coming by, that he would try to stop me to give him a ride. Well, because I had a little bit of difference uh, with him, I decided that I'd just slip around him and go a different way so that he couldn't see me. And that's exactly what I did. And I got to the interstate and was about to get on Interstate 75, and the Holy Spirit of God spoke to my heart and says, when you've done it unto these, the least of my brethren, you've done it unto me. And I felt very convicted in my spirit. I turned around, I went back and picked the man up and gave him a ride to Tifton. Friend, it's easy to get crossed up with somebody and uh, never to love like we should love. But always remember that uh, if you get so wrapped up in being crossed up with someone else, then you're not having the kind of brotherly love that God would have for you to, to uh, or want for you to have. And uh, so work out your differences. And if you can't work them out, at least try, and you will have done your best. God wants us to love one another. And listen, we were loved by the best. Jesus said, greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Then he called his friends and died on the cross for us. What love. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for the powerful devotion this morning that reminds us that we need to have brotherly love. And I pray that you'll help us do that, that we'll love our brothers and sisters in the faith like we should. And God, uh, help us be an example of that. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you today, my friend. I do pray the devotion's been a blessing to you and that uh, God will use it in your life. And hey, I, I don't know who you may be crossed up with, maybe nobody, but if you crossed up with somebody, today would be a good day to show brotherly love. Uh, let others see Christ in you. Your life could be the only Bible they'll ever see or hear from. God bless you. Have a great day.